Hello everyone and welcome to Online Storytime. My name is Miss Amanda and I work at the Lincoln County Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are really excited to read some space books with you. But first, can you clap your hands? Good job. Can you clap them fast? Good job. Can you clap them slow? Good job. We're going to clap and say hello. Are you ready? We clap and say hello, we clap and say hello, with our friends in story time, we clap and say hello. Good job, everybody. All right, we have a special friend with us today. This, see if you know what kind of animal that she is. Are you ready? Let's see, she is a gorilla. That's right, she's a gorilla, and her name is Gertie the Gorilla. Can you say good morning, Gertie? Good morning, Gertie. Good morning, Gertie. And Gertie the gorilla brought us some things today that start with the letter G. Let's see what she brought us. Are you ready? She brought us a guh guh girl. Guh guh girl starts with G. Let's see what else she brought us. She brought us guh guh golf. Guh guh golf starts with G. Let's see what else we have. We have a guh guh Gate. Gaga gate starts with G. We also have a gaga goat. Gaga goat starts with G. All right, we've got two more. Are you ready? She brought us an instrument, a musical instrument. She brought us a gaga guitar. Gaga guitar starts with G. And she brought us one more. Are you ready to see what it is? Are you ready? She brought us a garden. Look at all those yummy vegetables in the garden. Gug gug garden starts with G. Good job. So our letter this week is the letter G. G for garden and girl and goat and Gertie the gorilla. Good job, everybody. All right, we're gonna do our letter G in sign language. And when you wanna do your letter G in sign language, you use your pointer finger and your thumb and you put it like this and then you turn it just like that. So that's our letter G in sign language. Good job, and if you shake your letter G, that means the color green, 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 green. But if you hold it still, that means um, the letter G. All right, we are going to do our A, B, C's. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. All right, we're gonna do another song. We're gonna do our weather song. We're gonna see what the weather is like today. Are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there sun? What's it like outside? Oh yeah, it's a bright and sunny day today. Yeah, bright and sunny. It's a really nice day today. That's right, good job. All right, today is Thursday. So can you show me, this is our H in sign language. We use our pointer, our pointer finger and our middle finger right here and we spin it in a circle right here for Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Good job, today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, May 28th. Good job, and can you guys give me a thumbs up? Because tomorrow, tomorrow, if we do this in sign language, that means tomorrow, tomorrow, is, and we have to do our letter F like this, Friday, 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 Friday. Good job, tomorrow is Friday. Awesome, good job. And I'm really excited because on Saturday, they are going to have a space shuttle launch. On Saturday, May the 30th, NASA and SpaceX are gonna send two astronauts to the International Space Station. So if you guys want to, um, you can watch on May the 30th at 3.22 p.m. They are supposed to have launch. They're going to launch a space shuttle into outer space. 
to, and send two astronauts to the International Space Station, which will be really cool to watch. So, all right. Oh, can you wiggle your nose? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Can you wiggle your ears? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good job. Can you wiggle your fingers? Good job. We're going to do open, shut them. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Hide them in your lap, lap, lap. Good job. All right. Our first book today is called I Want to Be an Astronaut. And the author is Byron Barton. So we're going to sing our author song. Ready? The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho, did you know the author writes the words? Good job, everybody. The author writes the words. So the author that wrote all these words is Byron Barton. And this book is called I Want to Be an Astronaut. I want to be an astronaut. A member of the crew. Let's count how many people are in his crew. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six astronauts in his crew. And fly on the shuttle. Ooh, look at that. The shuttle is launching. Let's count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! into outer space. There he goes. Look, he's in outer space and we can look back and see planet Earth. That's where we live. We live on the planet Earth and they're going into outer space. I want to be up there. Look, the astronauts are wearing their helmets because they're being safe on a space mission. Look at that. They all have different jobs on the space mission. They all have different jobs to do. And you can tell that there's no gravity in outer space because look, he's floating. He's floating in outer space because there's no gravity. And have ready to eat meals. Look at that. They have to have ready to eat meals in outer space because they don't, they can't cook all their meals like we do here on earth. And look, this person, this astronaut is eating their food upside down. Yeah, they're eating their food upside down. And look, his peas are floating away and his spoon is floating because they're in outer space. And sleep in zero gravity. <gasps> He's sleeping upside down. And this astronaut is floating while she sleeps. <gasps> wow. Sleeping in outer space would probably be a lot of fun. I want to put on a space suit. Oh, that's a big space suit and walk around in space. Ooh, I think that would be a lot of fun. Look, they're floating around in outer space and they can see the earth and they came out of their, their space shuttle and look, they're floating in outer space. That's pretty cool. And help fix a satellite. When they're in outer space, they have special jobs and one of their special jobs, they had to fix a satellite. That's a big, important space job. And build a factory in orbit. Wow, an orbit means something that is circling the Earth. Circling the Earth. So he has to make a factory while they circle the Earth. I want to be up there for a while. Look, they're so tiny next to the planet Earth. This is... Um, the United States of America. That's where we live. We live like right in here. Look, there they are floating in outer space. And then come back to Earth. They went, they launched their rocket ship. They went up to outer space and now they're coming back down to Earth. I just want to be an astronaut. There's his crew. That's his astronaut crew. So cool and visit outer space. 
I think that would be a lot of fun to visit outer space. We're going to pretend like we are astronauts and we're going to go to outer space too, okay? We're going to go to the, let's see, where should we go? What if we went to the moon? Do you want to go to the moon? Okay, so we are going to be astronauts and we're going to go to the moon. So let's think of some things that we need. If we're going to go to the moon, if we're going to be astronauts and we're going to go to the moon, what are some things that we need to have? We probably need to have a spacesuit, right? I think we should have a spacesuit. Okay, so we're going to go to the moon and we're going to have our spacesuit. And when we put on our spacesuit, we have to say zip. Okay, ready? So we're going to say, if you're going to the moon, wear your suit. If you're going to the moon, wear your suit. If you're going to the moon, this is what you have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear your suit. Zip! Oh, you zipped it all the way up. Is it nice? Does it feel good? All right, here we go. Now we're going to put on our gloves. We have to put on our space gloves to go with our space suit because we're going to the moon. Are you ready? If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, this is what you have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. Okay, now we're gonna put on our helmet, our space helmets, okay? All right, and you make sure you pat it on, you make sure that it's on really well, okay? If you're going to the moon, wear your helmet. If you're going to the moon, wear your helmet. If you're going to the moon, this is what you have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear your helmet. Good job. Okay. And then the last thing I think we're going to do is we're going to put on our space boots. Are you ready to put on your space boots? Okay. And then when we put on our boots, we're going to stomp our feet and we're going to make sure that our boots are on really well. Okay. Are you ready? So we're going to do stomp, stomp. Ready? Here we go. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. If you're going to the moon, this is what you have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. Good stomping, everybody. All right, so we have on our helmets, and we have on our gloves, and we have on our spacesuit, and we have on our boots, and I think that we are ready to go to the moon. So we're going to count it down. We're going to start with 10, and we're going to get it to 1, and we're going to say blast off, and we're going to go to the moon. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Good job, everybody. All right, I have a book about the moon. Are you ready for a book about the moon? Okay. This book is called Kitten's First Full Moon. Okay, are you ready? Oh no, what's wrong with my book? Oh no, I can't read it like this. Okay. Can I read it like this? It's upside down. I gotta think, I think I have to turn it. Can I read it like this? It's sideways. I think I might need to turn it again. Can I read it like this? Oh, that's much better. Okay, kitten's first full moon. It was Kitten's first full moon. When she saw it, she thought, there's a little bowl of milk in the sky, and she wanted it. So she closed her eyes, and she stretched out her neck, and she opened her mouth, and she licked. Oh no, but Kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue. Poor kitten. Still, there was a little bowl of milk just waiting. She pulled herself together and she wiggled her bottom and she sprang from the top step of the porch. But kitten only tumbled, bumping her nose Oh, and banging her ear. Oh, no, and pinching her tail. Poor kitten. Still, there was a little bowl of milk just waiting. 
So she chased it down the sidewalk, through the garden, past the field, and by the pond. But Kitten never seemed to get closer. Poor Kitten. Is it really a bowl of milk? I think it's the moon. Still, there was a little bowl of milk just waiting. Look, I think she's being sneaky. She's gonna try to sneak up on the bowl of milk. So she ran to the tallest tree that she could find and she climbed and climbed and climbed to the very top. But Kitten still couldn't reach the bowl of milk. And now she was scared. Oh no, poor Kitten. What could she do? Oh no, poor Kitten. She's scared. She's in the top of the tree and she's really scared. Then in the pond, Kitten saw another bowl of milk and it was bigger. What a night. Do you think that in the pond there's another bowl of milk? Hmm, I don't know. So she raced down the tree and raced through the grass and she raced to the edge of the pond and she leaped with all her might. Look at that, she jumped. Leap is another word for jump. She jumped so far and what do you think happened? Do you think she got the milk that was in the pond? Let's see. Oh no, poor kitten. She was wet and sad and tired and hungry. Poor kitten. Oh no. Kitten thought it was a big bowl of milk in the pond, but it was just the moon's reflection. It was just water. Now Kitten is all wet. So she went back home. Poor Kitten. She went by the pond, through the field and the garden, all the way back home. And there was a great big bowl of milk on the porch. Look at that. There was a great big bowl of milk waiting for her at home. Just waiting for her. Look at that. Lucky kitten. Aw. So she thought that the moon was a big bowl of milk, but was the moon a big bowl of milk? No. But when she went home, she got a big bowl of milk. Lucky kitten. That is so nice. Good job, kitten. All right. We are going to do our goodbye song. We're going to wave and we're going to say goodbye. And I'll be back next Thursday at 10 a.m. for online story time. And then I'll be here Tuesday at 10 for online STEM. We hope to see you then. Hope everybody has a great weekend. All right. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at Storytime, we wave and say goodbye. Bye, everybody.